Welcome back. I'm still in Stanford, Connecticut, but I am about to leave tomorrow, which is good because I am bored out of my brain. Like, you know, normally when you're bored, you do something random, like you go and clean your house or something like that. But in a hotel, you have people doing that for you, so it's not even worth it. Anyway, we're gonna pass the time in the best possible manner by using Photoshop to do a very quick, but really cool and more creative edit, if you want. So, like the last time, we're gonna grab our laptops, lean back, put our feet up uh, to a comfortable position, Woo. and we will jump right in by editing one image that I took last year in New York, where I'm actually gonna go to tomorrow as well again, and uh, yeah, we're gonna edit it from something rather normal, with an already beautiful sunset background into something rather cool, which is a bit creative. So, there we go, let's jump right in. Awesome, here we go. So we have this scenery here from these couple of buildings. Um, yeah, skyscrapers kind of grouped together, which is awesome. And the sky behind it was redonkulous. The colors were amazing. All this orange and that yellow. And when I saw that, I had an idea straight away. I wanted to have some sort of a, a glowing bubble around these main buildings, as you have seen in the final version before now. So it's gonna be incredibly fast and easy to actually do that. And if you like these kind of creative edits, you'll be amazed by how easy it can actually be. Now, you do require some basic knowledge of Photoshop. If you don't have it, I'm gonna link some stuff down there in the description to get you started. But uh, otherwise, it's gonna be quick and easy. Let's do it. There are essentially just two things we have to work with here. One is the brightness, and the other one is the saturation or the color. So we're gonna start out by creating a hue saturation layer just on the right-hand side right here. And I'm gonna pump up and I'm gonna to look towards the sky. I'm gonna pump up the saturation like a madman to, let's see, something like uh, something like that. I think that's gonna look awesome. Let's do that. Let's make that smaller. So now, of course, we have increased the saturation everywhere, which is not really what we want. So I'm gonna make sure we're gonna make it so that it's more or less like a, how do you say, like a, a circle around the buildings. So for that, I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard for my marquee tool. Double check in the top left-hand corner that I have my circular marquee tool or my elliptical marquee tool. And I'm gonna draw a circle where I want the um, saturation adjustment to be visible. So I'm just gonna draw that circle, drag it into the middle, and don't worry, you can always resize that stuff later. Once I have my selection here with the layer mask of my hue saturation layer selected, I'm gonna hit shift and backspace on the keyboard. I'm gonna tell the software, yes please, fill the layer mask with black. I'm gonna hit Command and D to deselect that, and now I have this funny looking weird blob in the center of my image, which also controversially, everything else around that blob is now beautifully strongly colored, and the middle thing is not, which also looks kind of cool, but it's not what we're gonna to do today. So what I'm gonna do is with the layer mask selected, hit Command or Control and I on your keyboard, the result. Command and I on your keyboard to invert that layer mask. So now the color correction or the color increase is now only in that bubble that we had selected before. And with that, I'm gonna to go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Here we go. And we're gonna give it a nice fat blur of something like whatever, 365.1 pixels. Sounds absolutely right to me. Cool. Now I have that. So now we have this color increase in this area right here. So now from there, I wanna work on the lighting situation. So I'm gonna create a curve adjustment layer. I'm just gonna bring that curve adjustment down and I'm only looking at the edges of my image. There's also some dust speckles somewhere up there. This is cool, that's cool, no worries. Okay, so I'm gonna drag that down to, let's say something like that for now. Like we can always change anything later if we want to. So see, I want the reduced brightness only to be outside of the bubble that we had just colored. And if you look in the lower right hand corner, we have already a layer mask that is sort of defining these areas. So what we can do is just, I'm gonna hold Alt on my keyboard and drag and drop the layer mask onto my new layer and hit enter. So now it's gonna take that layer mask, copy it over to the new layer. And now with Command and I or Control and I on the windows, I can essentially uh, invert that and make sure that now the curve or the reduced brightness is only visible in the outside areas right here. Awesome. So you see now it's a little bit too dark, I think. So we might want to resize that a little bit. So what we can do is I can shift click on the second layer here, our uh, hue of saturation adjustment layer, and then hit Command or Control T, which is a transform tool. And now you can essentially drag and drop these things larger. So I'm gonna choose a point at which I am happy 
with the bubble or with that area that glows around the buildings, right? You can also use your arrow keys to move the stuff around a little bit. I think something like that looks cool. And I'm also going to drag it downwards just to bring a little bit more of the buildings in. And you see I'm doing that quite zoomed out because I need to have an overall feeling of the brightness and the color. Cool. Let's hit the OK button right there. Now, the last thing that I need to do is I want to increase the brightness in the very center as well a little bit so that you really get a pop for these colors around these buildings. So we already have a curve adjustment layer. So I'm going to copy that one. Hit Command or Control and J. It's going to copy it. Hit Command or Control and I. It's going to invert it. And now we take that curve and just make it a little bit brighter to the point that we feel like it looks awesome. Maybe even just something like that. Cool. I think I, I think we're going to like that. Yeah, that is not bad. Let's have a quick look at the before, rather boring, and the after, which is a really cool glowing effect around these buildings. Gives it a little bit of a creative feeling, if that makes any sense. And one thing we need to do, because otherwise it's going to bug me a lot, I'm going to quickly create a new layer. I'm just going to click the new layer symbol. Zoom into the top left, top left, I said, hand corner. Hit J on my keyboard to get the Spot Healing Brush tool. I'm just going to get rid of that blob here, because otherwise I'm going to go insane. Blob, go away. Oh, also, we have a lot of noise. Mm, we could fix that. You know what? Why wouldn't we? What I'm going to do is quickly, I'm going to fix a little bit of the noise that is in the image just because we're here and uh, nothing better to do. So let's go for that. I'm going to hit Command or Control, Alt, Shift, and E on my keyboard to create what is called a stamp visible. Essentially, we're just going to copy all the information that we have onto a separate layer. Now, with that, I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm quickly going to go to the Camera Raw Filter. There are many ways of reducing noise in images. In this one, I don't mind it too much, so I'm just going to reduce a little bit of it um, by going here onto the Detail tab and then increasing the Luminance Noise Reduction. So let's see if there's to a point where we like it. We are 100% zoomed in, so let's go a little bit higher. Something like that. I think I can live with this. Hit the OK button. Cool. Now, theoretically, you want to pop a layer mask on that, hide the whole thing by hitting Command or Control I, and now just paint in with a white brush where you want the noise reduction to happen in the sky. So that's something that you can take your time for because there's you know no rush or no need to do that now right away. And oh god, I had the the spot healing brush tool selected. It's going to take a second. I meant a brush. Here we go. So now you can paint in the noise reduction wherever you feel like. Take your time with that. For now, I'm very happy with the quick before and after. And it looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to leave it here, actually. In any case, that is my contribution for today. I hope you did like the video. If you did like the video, don't forget to hit me. One day I'm going to get it really fast. In essence, if you did like the video, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I am out of here for today. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think I might just Netflix and chill. Yeah, it is a Sunday after all, and I think that's what people do, so I'm going to do the same thing. I shall see you next time. Happy editing. Bye!